my name is Randy Ennis. Um, this is my wife, Denise. Um, we are the owners of The Blind Man. This will be our 30th year in business that The Blind Man's been in business. Uh, not many, many businesses make it that, you know, and a business that can make it that long is one that will stand the test of time. And so. then our name, actually, she pulled, his grandpa used to be Sun Control. Mm -hmm. And on his van, he had Watch Out Blind Man Driving. Yeah, so right. when the business ended up coming to them, she thought, what a perfect name, the blind man. And when the blind man van pulls up, they're, next thing, when, when I leave, <laughs> the people walk in, hey, what'd the blind man do for you? And they come in and look, yeah. and, and they say, oh, what'd the blind man do? And they, oh, man, I need to be calling the blind man. I need to get that done. I need to, and so when you pull into one, one house, next thing you know, you're doing five other in, in the little area. We do custom. We are experts. We know exactly what's gonna work best for your home and how to make it work for your home. We are the experts. But our main thing is most definitely our residential customers. Absolutely. Um, the seniors here absolutely <laughs> love the blind man. Um, they respect our quality. They love the old school quality, what can be fixed, what doesn't have to be replaced after a few years. They want a blind that's gonna last them that they can hand down to their kids and know that it will last through their kids as well. I fixed a blind the I fixed a blind a couple months ago that I put up 24 years ago and I fixed it and made it work. So one of our big things is repairs. We Absolutely. do a lot of repairs and we don't do just local repairs. We have people that come from Palm Springs, Big Bear, Upland, oh Chino, Ontario, even LA that will come to us to repair their blinds because they there's wish hardly, we were out there. <laughs> definitely. And there's hardly anybody who actually repairs blinds. Mm -hmm. So you can make a lot of money doing repairs and I can do a standard restring on a honeycomb blind. It takes me less than 10 minutes and I charge $30 for it. Wow. Figure that out by the hour. So I can make some the... good money doing nothing but repairs. But let me tell you, Temecula wants this. Marietta wants it. They um, yeah. There's many places that the wish desert we had wants more stores. it. Corona wants it. People come from all over to have her repair our blind. How do you approach the problem that people have in today's market when they are purchasing blinds? How does your company solve it? Well, a lot of our customers, we go in and they're looking at typically getting the Home Depot or the Lowe's, the pull off the shelf cheap line, something that they can afford until they find out that it's only gonna last them a couple years. So then they come to us to get a quote for a quality blind that's gonna last them. And what we do is we go through, find all the different options that they're looking at, and then find the one that's gonna fit both their budget, their style, and make them happy. We're, we're ready for our new chapter of life. Yes, new we're, challenge. You know, to get out of the rat race and the, and the craziness of the big city and slow down our life a little bit. And we got some reason, we got some We places. only got a few more years with our kids left and we want to really make the most of them. Really, this business is pretty easy to learn. Yeah. Uh, anybody yeah. could take yeah. over this business. Um, we're more than willing to stay teach. on and teach. Honestly, I could get somebody really going in, in a couple months where they would be comfortable on their feet. You could call us up any year down the line and ask us any question you Absolutely. wanted to 20 years from now. I will always pick up my phone. Three to six months though of training and yeah. training wheels are off. You're good to go. The new blood's going to be very, very good with the technical. We got the <laughs> web page. We yes. don't really even use our web page, but we own that web page, and right off the bat, they could start selling blinds to the world with that web page. Yes, we want and somebody, somebody media do that. savvy. They on Facebook, Twitter, all of it. We don't do any of it. We are twenty years definitely ago. Definitely a little behind the social yeah. media time. What you put into it, you're going to get back out of it. Yes. If you put in, this is in the time. The economy's boom, getting ready to yeah. go again. This is the time to make this big again, right now. And, yeah. and take our name. So we're looking for somebody to do that. Take our reputation, take our customer loyalty. What are your hopes and aspirations for the next owners? Oh, we want to see them go big. Yeah, yeah we, we want them to come bigger in than with we do. We new do. blood, new energy, and take this place and make it great again.
want to see this business flourish. We want to see it go for, we want to see somebody have a good time with it and we want to come back in 10, 50 and see other blind mans yeah. all over, all over California. Be able I want to, to walk see 10 blind, a blind man and, and just visit. be like, Hey, this used to be us. We did this. Yeah. This and used to be us. And they've taken it. And be able to call the owner and say, good job, man. I'm, I'm glad this to see, awesome. I'm glad to see you guys doing it. Wow. I'm glad to see a blind man over here. I'm glad to see a blind man over here. I would like to see it go big.